I would like to thank my parents first for their unconditional support and for being my first teachers. I would like to thank my brothers and my sister for being my first students, even though they didn't know it when we were young. I would like to thank my family and my friends for their unyielding faith in me and my district colleagues and mentors for sharing their knowledge and expertise. Receiving awards is certainly humbling and motivating, but none of us do it for the recognition. We do it because there is such a thrill in experiencing the process of helping every student become the very best he or she can be. One of the best rewards I have received as a teacher is to have former students or their parents return to tell me a story about how something they learned or experienced in my class resonates with them. As a teacher, building a safe community for my students is a top priority. And sometimes I am fortunate enough to hear about the effect from my students or their parents. Last year, after our annual back to school barbecue, a parent came to my room to talk to me about her son. Although she was thrilled he would be in my first grade class, she was also a bit anxious and wanted to provide me with more insight. In addition to his delayed development, he also had an articulation and phonology disorder and an expressive language disorder, both making it a challenge to understand him. Conversation starters written on sentence strips helped him to begin to articulate his thoughts, and eventually all 30 of my students were able to understand what he was saying. His self-confidence blossomed and his peer relationships bloomed. It wasn't until the second trimester conference in February with his parents that I truly became aware of the impact of our class meetings. His parents informed me that they were considering moving to a different neighborhood within our district, but had decided not to because of a conversation they had with him. They informed me that when they asked him how he felt about moving to a new house and a new school, he started crying and became very upset. Concerned, they asked him why. And his response was, because nobody at the new school will understand me like my teacher and my friends at Russell Ranch do. I'm sure stories like this happen every day all over the country. That's why I believe it's important for us to share those stories, to help our communities see that we teach today to improve tomorrow, and to understand that as teachers, we have a direct hand in shaping the future, not just of our students, but of our country, our society, and our world. Thank you for sharing this evening with us tonight.